Hey guys, what's going on? APL here. APL Fisher on Xbox Live, and today I've got um, the Buy Binds video for you. Um, or, well, it also relates to your um, Counter Strike Source config or CFG file. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I buy guns so quickly in Counter Strike Source, and if I have a config, and if I have Buy Binds, and all that stuff. And the answer to those two questions is yes, I do. Um, but probably one of the most asked questions was, well, could you do a video in your in your um, so you're new to Counter-Strike Source series on buy binds and how to do them, how to set up a config to use them and that kind of stuff. So I so I thought that would be actually a really good topic, um, obviously because of all the questions and also just because of the practicality of it, how much it helps to have uh, predetermined keys that buy things, you know, pretty much instantly for you. Um, so let's let's get right into it. I'll talk about more about what buy binds are as we go on and, and as I show you. Um, actually, all right, real quick, I'll go over what, what buy binds are. Buy binds are basically... In a nutshell, you hit one key on your keyboard and it will buy you a predetermined set of either a gun or a grenade or a gun and a grenade or whatever you want it to be. It's basically just a shortcut to bypass the buy menu. So you know when you stand, when you're in spawn and the round's about to start and you hit the B key on your keyboard to Counter-Strike, up comes the buy menu, you go through, you scroll through. For newer players, it can be frustrating. They don't know what to buy. They don't know, um, you know what their loadout's going to be at the beginning of every round they have to do it. So a lot of times they'll get caught like with their pants down, like they'll be in there 10 seconds and someone will come in and kill them while they're still buying their weapons. That's happened a lot to a lot of uh, a lot of my friends who are newer players and stuff like that. So buy binds let you bypass all that, set up what keys you want to buy what, and let you go. And you can hit those keys and pretty much instantly get right into, into the game without having to go through the buy menus and buy stuff. Uh, via that um, you know GUI, that graphic user interface. So let's go into um, how to do this. Um, I'm going to show you my my auto exec config, which has my buy binds in it and all that stuff, and uh, how you can make your own. And uh, let's just get right into it right now. So let's go to the start menu first. Um, go to start. Go to uh, your local hard drive, your local disk. For me, it's C. Um, and one thing to note, this may be different for, this is going to be different for people that are in XP or Vista. I'm using Windows 7, 64-bit. Um, obviously, not all of you are going to be using that. But if you follow these steps, you might have to, some of the file paths might be a little different, but you should be able to get to the same areas and, and the same things will apply that I do on Windows 7. So go into Program Files. Since I'm using Windows 7, 64-bit, it's um, Program Files x86. Then go down to your Steam folder. Then go to Steam Apps. Then go to Fisher at MailSnare.net. <laughs> Obviously not for you. That's the email address I registered my Steam account with. I don't care if you guys do that. It doesn't really matter. Um, so whatever your Steam username is, and then you go into Counter-Strike Source, and then you go to C-Strike. And this is the meat, uh, this is the meat folder of, of Counter-Strike Source. This is where any kind of customization would be done within this folder. You can see you have a Maps folder. These are all where the custom maps get downloaded when you go into different servers. Um, you have a Sounds folder where all those crazy sounds you get when you have like the Quake sounds of different pubs. And you can drop files in there and have your own custom sounds. And then you'll see the CFG folder here as well. But before we get into that, one thing that you really want to check, we want to make sure that two options are, are correct here uh, in our how we look at files uh, in Windows Explorer like this. You want to go to the organize over here on the top left. Like I said, XP or Vista will be different for you, but there'll be about, I think it's file. And then you go down to folder and search options. We want to go to the view tab, and there's two things we want to check to make sure uh, that they're correct. Where it says hidden files and folders on here, we want to make sure that show hidden files, folders, and drives is, is, um, is checked. I think by default, for most of you, it will be unchecked, so make sure that's changed and checked. And then you want to go, and where it says hide extensions for known file types, this is actually going to be checked by default for most of you. Make sure you uncheck that. You do not want to have hide extensions for known file types checked. Once that's done, hit OK or apply and uh, you'll be good. And then let's go into the CFG folder here, the config folder. So now that we're in here, um, all of my commands, um, my buy binds, my any graphical settings, um, some of my uh, different binds for, for movement are in my autoexec.cfg. Now you notice there's also a config.cfg. We're not going to worry about that for now. That has like all your mapped keyboard commands for movement and stuff like that. But your autoexec.cfg is basically kind of like a kind of like an add-on. Think of it um, where you can add in all your different stuff that you want in there as far as buy binds and stuff like that. So let's open up mine and take a look at what we have here. Make this a little bigger. Actually, we'll full screen it real quick. Okay, so as you can see, this is, <laughs> I didn't just notice this, this is called the Sevo FPS config. This is actually a uh, uh, config to help you get um, the max um, FPS you could out of your computer. So this config that I am actually have now is very stripped down. It's very bare bones. I, it used to be probably about three or four pages worth of different graphical commands that would um, that would set everything to the lowest settings and all that stuff. Because I, you know, two computers before this, my, my really... 
I guess my computer a couple years ago was really, really shitty. I mean, when I was playing Counter-Strike uh, in high school and then just in college, I couldn't afford a good computer. I had I had a really shitty computer, so I had to use uh, uh, FPS config. So I never actually changed that heading. Uh, these slashes here just are so that the game won't read the stuff. This is just placeholder so that you can kind of see the organization of the config, um, but the console won't actually read this. So this section of the config um, is actually important in the sense of when you open up your game and hit your uh, tilde or tilde key, and uh, up comes the uh, the console. It'll tell you that this config has been loaded. So this is just the message that you'll you'd see. You can customize this. Obviously, I have it say APL's config loaded, just so I know that this is working. Um, and so every time you open up the game, this is what you should see when you open up the uh, the console to see if it's working. You don't have to check it every time. If it's working once, it's going to work every time. Um, you can put a website in there. You don't have to do that. Um, and then you can see I don't have any FPS commands anymore. I got rid of all of those since my computer runs Counter Strike Source maxed out on everything with no problem. Uh, but, um, maybe I will do a guide on, like, a good FPS config at some point. I don't know. Um, but the same things that I'm going to talk about in this buy, um, buy binds, um, config or whatever, or in the buy binds video here, um, will apply to, like, an FPS thing, too. Um, CL commands, you can see the, in the, one of the previous videos where I talked about CMD rate and CL update rate that were important for, um, registration. Both of those are set to 101 in this config. It can be 100 or 101. I think I told you guys to do 100, but either one is fine. Um, but then we get down into the buy binds. So you can see I actually don't really have that many buy binds. I only have one, two, three, four, about 10, I guess. Um, 10 buy binds, and these are all individual buy binds. So when I hit KP underscore 5, so that that is basically the identifier so that the game knows what key what to do when you hit this key. So KP underscore five, that's keypad underscore five. So the number pad on the right side of your keyboard, all my buy binds are on the right side, mainly because it's easy for me to hit that real quick at the beginning of the round with my right hand. And also because none of these keys are utilized um, by default in Counter-Strike Source, so you don't use your number pad. So when I hit that five key on my number pad, it will buy me a Deagle. Um, and that's instant. It doesn't bring up any buy menu. It just buys it for me. End of story. Uh, and let's say, so I wanted to do, so I want to buy a Deagle. There we go. There's that. Let's say I want to buy a vest and helmet, which is head armor. Um, and, uh, you know, the vest, uh, you'd hit the end key and the end key on, um, on the number pad is actually the one you can see it's labeled end. So I would hit zero one and instantly I have a Deagle and I have head armor mm -hmm. and that's it. I mean, and then I'm good to go. Let's say it was a save round. I'm good to go. You can actually bind multiple, um, you can buy a ton of stuff. Like I could buy all these. I could have KP underscore five or the five um, the five key on my keyboard buy all the stuff. I could put it all in one giant line, and it would buy me uh, Kevlar, AWP, um, hand grenades, all that kind of stuff. You can do that, but I don't do that because in competitive play, you have to be able to you have to be able to to buy depending on what your money is and what smart buy. So to have it all in one giant setup like that, I don't know. You can do that, but I like to keep it all spread out so I can buy pieces of it and then if I want to buy all of them together I just hit you know zero five one six like I know what the full buy is because I'm so used to it so anyway that's a little bit about buy binds so let's say all right you're like Scott that's good I just want to copy your exact config and just use it and test it out and see how it works that's fine I'm gonna link my config in the description here you can download it and uh, put it into the correct folder I'll show you actually um, how to do that um, right now actually so let's sh let's say we're gonna make a new a new config right now and we're gonna go through the steps um, let's do it right now. So let's go to the start menu. We're going to go and open up a notepad file. I have notepad actually right here already. And we are going to make a new config. So let's say you want to use my, mine as a model here. Let me make this a little smaller. Um, and we're going to take this part. So let's copy this part from my config just because it's a good, it's a good placeholder and a good start to it, to any config. We're going to paste that here. So you can change this, like I said, you can change anything in these quotes to say whatever you want. If you want it to, so let's say your name's Matt, let's set it to Matt's config loaded, just so you know when you open up console that that's working. You, you can get rid of the website, you can have that, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. And then like I said, these two slashes are uh, are just so that it'll be, you can put in placeholders where the game or the console won't read it. So I'm just going to section this uh, section of the config off as buy binds. There we go. So let's say, alright, you just want to copy, you want to copy mine. That's fine. Um, let's just copy, just as a start, let's copy these buy bind commands. Control V. Let's paste them in there. And uh, you can have a space there. I don't know. I like to keep mine nice and clean because I'm a type A. Uh, I just have to have everything. <laughs> I 
nice and nice and clean. So there you go. So this would be a very, very basic config with just buy binds. No other commands, just buy binds, and that's fine. So let's save this. So we're going to go File, Save As. And this is the key in naming it properly. For the game to load up this config automatically, every time you start it up, you need to name it something very, very particular. You want to name it autoexec.cfg. And we're going to go, and now we have to save it, and then the key is where do you save this file? Well, obviously, we have to save it in that config file within your Steam directory. So we're going to go um, local C, program files. We're going to go Steam, Steam apps, your username, Counter-Strike source, and then config. And there you go. And that's where we're going to save this. So if I hit save, oh, wait, did I do the wrong one? That's weird. It shouldn't have saved that because I already have my config in there. Let me see. Um... Oh, I must have saved it to the wrong directory. Actually, let's do that one more time. So save as. Um, oh, actually, you know what? No, it should have. Steam Mouse Fisher Counter-Strike Source. Oh, I saved it under config, not CFG. Hold on one minute as I fuck this up. Sorry that this is confusing. We're going to go back. Program Files. Um, Steam Apps. Steam. Steam Apps. Your username. Counter-Strike Source. Sorry. C-Strike. That's what I missed. I'm sorry. So <laughs> C strike and then CFG. So not your config, but C strike and then CFG. And now if I try to save it, it'll tell me it already exists because I already have one in there, um, obviously. So I'm going to hit no. I don't want to overwrite my other config. But that's all you would do. And then it would drop that auto exec that you just made. Um, let me go back here. Get back to the Steam directory. C strike. CFG, it would, and it would appear just like this for you. It would be called autoexec.cfg. And then every time you wanted to edit, edit it, you would just go to this this path. I'll put it up, up on the screen now where, where all your configs will be saved um, just so that you guys can have a reference if you got confused by that last part. Um, you can just double-click on it, and it will open up a notepad. Sometimes um, what will happen is, you know those settings I had you change at the very beginning of it? Sometimes it will save the file because Windows thinks it's smart. It will add a .txt at the end of the CFG, so it will name it autoexec.cfg. Dot txt and if you see that within here you want to make sure you edit the file name and get rid of that dot txt part but if you didn't change those settings as i said you wouldn't see that so you don't make you need to make sure that both those settings are are set properly in your file um file structure uh settings over here where it was in um folder and search options um but this is what it should look like it should be called autoexec.cfg and if you open it up you know whatever your config was that that's what will be there and It'll, uh, you could edit it you know, to be whatever you want. So if you want to add more buy binds in the future, you can do that. So you're like, all right, Scott, that's cool. I get that. But what if I want to make my own buy binds that aren't yours and something custom? Well, you can look up all these commands. If you just Google it, you can find what each um, thing on your keyboard is called, what each button is, and you can manually put in buy and then figure out what each gun name is in the game. You can do that, but it's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to cheat and use a buy bind creator for CSS. There's lots of them out there. Let me open up this real quick. Here is an example of one um, that's that's good. It's on GameBanana.com. Um, there's also FPS Banana, I think, unless they change the name. Uh, both they have tons. This is a great site for for generators, for buy binds, for everything, for maps, for scripts, for skins, all that kind of stuff. Um, so this one is was made by Exitol, I guess is his name. And I already downloaded it and extracted it to my desktop. I'll put this in the description as well so that you guys can download it and use it. Um, and actually, that's how I got my my commands. I actually used the generator because I didn't feel like looking everything up. So let's start this up and run it. And it's exactly what it sounds like. Here you go. You got you got a buy bind generator. So let's make one just for example. And like I was saying, I have each one of my binds is bind to just one item at a time. But if you want to have a setup more like Call of Duty where you have, let's say you hit zero on your number pad and it will buy you... AK-47, head armor, and grenades. You know what? We can do that. Let's let's do that if that's what you want to do. So type your uh, type your key. It's just asking what um, key on your keyboard you hit. So I'm going to hit the zero on the number pad. So it puts in that. Pick your protection. That's what she said. <laughs> um, I'm going to do uh, same thing. Kevlar with helmet. Pick your grenades. We're going to do... So you can see he has all the combinations that you can possibly have. We're going to just do, let's say, a hand grenade for this setup. Primary and secondary ammo you don't need to worry about. Those... Uh, they took that out. You, whenever you buy a gun, you have full ammo in your primary and your secondary now. Uh, they actually That was in an update a couple years ago, so you don't have to worry about that. This was obviously made a while ago. Uh, diffuse kit, um, if it's a CT side, you can buy it. Um, you can set it to buy it. Even if so, And don't worry, like it, even if you hit a bind that's meant to be a CT bind, it's not going to mess anything up in the game. It'll just only buy you what it can on the T side. You know what I'm saying? So like if you have a diffuse kit in, 
in um, a buy bind and you also have an AWP, but you're on terrorist and you hit that bind, it will buy you the AWP still. It just can't buy you the diffusal kit. It'll just tell you, you know, you can't purchase that, obviously. So you don't have to worry about that. But let's check a diffuse, uh, or not check a diffuse kit. This is going to be a terrorist side um, bind. Um, the CV-47, which is the AK-47. Um, secondary, we'll use the Desert Eagle. And um, let's generate it. And look at that beautiful thing. It puts in all the stuff that you need to for this buy bind in one simple line. It does it all for you. So now all we'd have to do, let's say, okay, cool. Now I have a, when I hit zero on my number pad, it's going to buy me an AK-47. It's going to buy me a Deagle. It's going to buy me a vest and helmet. And it's going to buy me a hand grenade. Copy this. And we will go back into our auto exec dot CFG. Let's just go back into mine. And there we go. Let's, uh, let's get rid of, so I have one already that's set to that. Let's get rid of, oh wait, where's the zero? Um, zero is INS, INS. So that's set to buy a diffuser kit for me. So let's just get rid of that. And there we go. Look, I just added a, uh, a buy bind, a different one. So now when I hit the, um, the zero key on my keyboard, it's gonna buy me an AK-47, a Deagle, a Vessen helmet, and a hand grenade all in one fell swoop, and you're done. And that's really all there is to it, guys. Um, it, it just enables you to buy guns instantly, have preset buys, and it's uh it's it's a really helpful thing, probably one of the most helpful things that you can that you can do because the buy times I know for new players are a big deal. So just follow these steps and, and you can do that. I'm not going to save this obviously because I don't want to change change that. But uh, like I said, all the links for my um, config that I use will be in the description of this video for download as well as will this um, buy buying creator. Follow the steps in this video and in no time you'll be buying like a pro <laughs> if there is such a thing in uh, Counter Strike Source. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will uh, see you guys in the next video.